Today we're heading to Maitan Restaurant, located in the upscale neighborhood of Miraflores in Lima, Peru. Since its grand opening in 2008, Maida has won numerous international awards including the World's Best Restaurant in 2022. Helmed by renowned chef Jaime Pesake, Maida serves traditional Peruvian food with a modern twist. We're at a restaurant called Maita. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but here for dinner. It's getting late. It's a very fancy restaurant, more fancy than we had in the last three months. I'm very excited to try the food. Let's see how it goes. Okay, appetizer is here. It's made of potatoes. That's a traditionally frozen potato that you use to preserve the potatoes. And then some other kind of potatoes, which is supposedly dried. And the sugar comes out and you got to pair it with bitter potato. vegetable. <laughs> Looks good. Okay, the guy said oh. to try it in one bite, so <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> That's good. Sweet, salty potato. Really good. Mm. I don't think you're supposed to eat this. No. Oh, no. But I ate half of it. <laughs> Is it okay no. to eat? No. No. <laughs> Second appetizer. I forgot what he said. <laughs> it's a sun dried potato. I'm gonna try this in one bite. Like a candied mashed potato. Mashed potato with honey. Interesting. Doesn't taste bitter at all. Second appetizer, of course. Never had so many appetizers for a long time. But apparently it's an ode to fava beans. Because there's a fava bean cracker and there's a scallop in fava bean sauce. A scallop seasoned with scallop. What more could you ask for? Okay, so we're supposed to eat this first. It smells very green, almost like cilantro. It's got some flowers on it. Now, do we use our utensils for this? Tastes very green. Scallops. Taste some of the sauce. Mm. Citrusy, salty. Yeah, got some kind of red, random red, oils on it too. I think it's fava bean oil. Red. Everything is fava beans here. Red. I'm gonna start the show. So I'm gonna eat the whole thing in one bite. Cool here it goes. Mm. Oh, that's a great scallop. I think it's raw, but it's so firm and it's got a great texture. Delicious. A little bit. It does taste like a ceviche sauce. With edamame inside. Is that what a fava bean is? I think so. And edamame? And just call it edamame. Why must it be so fancy? Third course, it's a carrot medley. Little baby carrots on top of carrot puree with carrot powder and carrot sauce and carrot leaves. <laughs> That's a lot of carrot. Oh. You support. They got a little bit of everything. The carrot stalks came out and there's some sauce. It tastes very carroty. It tastes exactly what it is. It's a baby carrot and carrot sauce. It's not bad. <laughs> Alright, so this set of dishes, because everything comes in twos for some reason, is a celebration of eggplant. Eggplant puree, ashes of eggplant for some reason, and an eggplant cracker. I don't know how they make the cracker. Here we have eggplant and eggplant consomme. That's a lot of eggplants. I hope you're not allergic to eggplants when you come here. What the guys need to do is you take this Freakishly small wooden spoon. Freakishly small wooden spoon. Scoop out some puree, put it on a cracker, and give it a try. Sweet. It almost has a burnt and smoky flavor to it. Really good. I'm not sure the ash has anything, but it looks nice. Have one more bite of this. And now the basic plant dish. Slice. It's literally just pure eggplant. Then have it with some consomme with 
some kind of green sauce. Oh. Roasted eggplant. The texture is green. It's not like overcooked. It still has retained like some of the bite. Consomme is literally like pureed eggplant. It's really oh. good. Delicious. Our uh, next pass is baby corn theme. Slices of baby corn on top of baby corn puree and topped with baby corn ashes. <laughs> in the middle, oh my god, it's a surprise! Something orange in the middle. I'm gonna give it a try with chili sauce. It's slightly sweet. It tastes like cornbread, like a mashed up cornbread with bits of crunchy corn on it. And the chili is really adds like good spice, but not that spicy. Course number five or four or six. <laughs> it's this dish that's served on barnacles and it's seaweed filled with crab and barnacles. And then there's some like something popped on top. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like seaweed. Mm. Crispy seaweed and just the essence of the ocean inside. Really delicious. Here we have different parts of the arapaima, which is the biggest fish in the Amazon. 180 odd pound arapaima. This is filled with the cheeks, this is filled with the belly, and this is the body. It's like a mini taco. It's a fried plantain. Oh, fried plantain. <laughs> this is a bit like the yeah. <laughs> sauce. But it goes really well with the crispy fried plantain. I don't think the flowers add much to it. Try the next one, which is the belly. Smoked arapaima belly on top of Cassava bread. Mm. It's a cured, tastes like smoked salmon. And there's beetroot powder on top. The bread is really good. It's crispy, chewy, and there's something inside. I'm not sure what's inside. This is really good. The smoked fish is salty, and the cassava bread is like a little bit sweet. Final dish, arapaima tail. I've never had arapaima back in Singapore. It's normally kept as a, as a pet. But here they eat it, I guess. The fish is firm, it's sweet, it's coated with this sauce that really reminds me of teriyaki sauce. Mm. Very interesting way to present a fish. Alright, it's my favorite dish. Green peas. JK, I hate green peas, but it looks good, so gotta try it. Frozen? Not bad. It's not frozen peas. The peas are crunchy, almost. Not overcooked. Very delicious. Four peas. Mix up a duck. Peas and pea puree. Oh, almost like a mashed potato. Not too bad. If you don't think it's peas, it's okay. Now for a single slice <laughs> of duck, which apparently was cooked for 10 hours. This is better be the best tasting duck of all time because it's the smallest piece of all time. It's perfectly cooked. You can see the pink in the inside. Oh, the sauce is made from duck bones. I hope it's like, used, they use the crusher thing to squeeze out all the juice. Oh, smells very ducky. <laughs> Super tender. The sauce is a bit sweet, so not a huge fan, but great duck flavor. So tender, meaty. Almost tastes like ham. Like a little bit of ham. Really good. Not a fan of the sauce. Not a fan of the peas, especially. But not too bad. <laughs> First dessert. This is camouflage as a stone. But actually, the texture is like a mochi. The mochi ice cream. I don't know what flavor is inside. A bit fruity, a bit milky. And it looks exactly like this wrap. 
<laughs> Don't bite the wrong thing. Mm. And then there's also this, which is the second half of the first dessert. I don't know what it is. It's very gingery. The texture is like a something crunchy. I totally don't know what this is. It's sweet, gingery, and crunchy. <laughs> Dessert number two, the Andes passion fruit, maracuya. We're only so supposed to eat the inside. Oh, it's like a cream on the inside. Mm. Tastes like a passion fruit cheesecake. There's something spicy and crunchy on the inside. Mm. Very nice blend of flavors. Dessert number three, Andean corn and Andean cheese served in corn husk on a bit of corn kernels. <laughs> it doesn't taste like corn at all. It tastes like something creamy and sweet with some crunchy corn bits inside. <laughs> Interesting. Final dessert, final dish, themed around cacao, just chocolate. I don't know what this is. This is like the cacao fruit. Mm. 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 Tastes a little bit like, I think it's supposed to be the cacao fruit, like the outer layer. But it tastes like a sour soap. Mm. That's good. Then we have a, some kind of emulsion, probably cacao or milk emulsion. It's like fruity, but also has a chocolatey aroma. Super interesting. How was the meal overall? It was a very interesting meal. <laughs> Each dish is themed around a single ingredient. And I think it's supposed to be like traditional Peruvian ingredients. So it's very interesting, something that we don't see very often, even in the fine dining restaurants in Singapore. These ingredients are definitely not typical. They're not typical of what we usually have in Asia. Very interesting. I think it's pretty affordable too. I'm not sure how much of it. Price will be here. <laughs>